Hey Aries, welcome into my channel, Ascension Tarot with Alana. I hope you guys are doing fabulous and are having a beautiful Sunday. I'm gonna be looking at you and the person on your mind, Aries. So let's get into it. Um, please remember, reverse all energies as you see fit and cross watchers, same. Um, all right, let's get into it. <laughs> Um, I'm going to be pulling from the Messages of Love Oracle deck for you guys. I'm getting some oracles and then jumping into it with tarot. Um, all right, let's 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 see. Let's see what comes out for you guys. All right, bottom of the deck, we've got reveal. Okay, I want to tell you the truth. Then we've got reunion. We will always come back to each other. Hmm. Hope. All right, I have not given up hope on us yet. Oh. All right, so somebody's hoping for uh, some type of communication here, um, hopefully, or I'm sorry, hoping to um, have a reunion and wanting to speak their truth to you, yours to them, maybe wanting to clear up things that were not um, previously spoken about in the past, okay, wanting to be truthful and honest with each other. Um, then we've got soul tie, wow, I always feel connected to you, okay. This could be a soul tie with somebody else. There could be karma at play here between the two of you guys. And um, with reveal, all right, somebody could be, um, yeah, just wanting to reveal things that, like I said, were not spoken about at one point, okay? Um, there's a lot of missing here. <clears throat> uh, it seems like um, you both are on each other's mind a lot, okay? There's, there's still hope here, all right? Somebody has not given up hope that this could turn into something... Um, more stable or uh, possibly a higher level of commitment here. Um, and with soul tie, yeah, there is, um, with reunion and soul tie here, um, it seems like uh, both of you keep coming back to each other, all right? Um, which is actually quite a beautiful energy. So let's get into it um, with, uh, with tarot. Okay, Aries. Now this person's, um, this person's feelings towards you, Cancerian energy here. We have the chariot. This is a strong, powerful energy. Um, this person feels like they want to take actions towards you. Okay, they're very determined. This is a very uh, powerful, um, determined. Uh, this person's using the strength of their willpower. Okay, to it looks like uh, come towards you again. As I always say. I need to clarify all of these energies to see more um, in depth. Um, uh, into feelings and uh, intentions, behaviors, things like that. But right off the bat, um, now this could be opposing forces. Okay. The chariot can also represent, um, being in between two places. Okay. And needing to overcome any obstacles to get where this person wants to ultimately be with you. If there has been, um, obstacles between you guys, this person wants to make progress. Okay. Now, um, your feelings towards them. All right, we've got the Ten of Cups. Beautiful, okay? I'm seeing so many energies like this for all of the fire signs. Big, strong soul connections. Very interesting. You guys might want to check out Leo and Sag. Um, very similar, similar-ish uh, energies here. Um, okay, you guys could also be dealing with other fire signs. It could also be that. Um, Anyways, 10 of cups for your feelings towards them. Um, this person, you know, brings you joy. They bring you happiness. When you do connect with this person, um, there's a feeling of reciprocity, of, of uh, emotional harmony that you two bring each other, okay? Um, and it extends far beyond just the two of you. It extends to your outer world and your inner world. When your inner world is at peace, everything you do around you is also at peace. You're your work, your your friends, your family. Um, you guys could uh, know a lot of the same people, okay? And um, it, it's like everything being in, in balance and everything being in harmony. When the two of you are in harmony, everything sort of, the world seems brighter. Um, now, interesting, okay? They view you, they view you, okay? as the five of wands. So interesting. This could be conflict with people around you. Okay. A little, um, it seems a little conflicting with what I just said, but, um, now this could be energies of the past. Okay. Things in the past that, um, 
again with that chariot card okay wanting to overcome um, difficulties or conflicts that happened in the past and now wanting to uh, move forward and and push past those opposing uh, forces okay again I'm gonna clarify all of that the two of you guys now if you are dealing with another fire sign um, and you don't have to be but if you are there could be uh, there's this is also a very passionate energy now this curse this person could for some reason feel like um, getting to you or making the progress that they want to make um, has involved some type of competition or um, needing to stand out from from the rest okay they need to sort of prove themselves okay interesting but there's there's a need for competition here or there was interesting um i'll clarify um they're okay their behavior toward you ace of cups okay this person wants to express emotions to you and we have that in what we saw the reveal card i want to tell you the truth i haven't given up, given up hope there's a lot of hope here there's a want to renew this cup of love a want to be emotional with you aries and um if they're not doing this this is how this person feels okay there's a lot of love here there's a lot of um emotions here and um you know, you say you do feel that as well. So this in some way is being um, reciprocated to each other areas. Now, um, the mutual energy page of pentacles. So this is something solid. Okay, this is wanting to uh, bring something together, bring this relationship together on solid ground, but it's in the beginning stages. And um, which is interesting because you're already showing me something quite solid here. Um, or that you want something solid, okay? Um, but yeah, we'll clarify the page of pentacles. Um, this could be just messages back and forth, or like I said, wanting to um, have a more uh, solid foundation to build upon, okay? But more work needs to be done here with the mutual page of pentacles. There's more things that need to be done for this to progress to um, a more solid stage, okay? Um, interesting. All right. So let's clarify. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. let me see why this person's feelings towards you are the, um, uh, is the chariot. There's a lot of emotions here. Okay. There is a lot of emotions that you're both showing me. Um, but with the page of pentacles being in the mutual and it only being a page, um, it gives me the feeling that although there's a lot of um, emotions, something has not become completely stable in the 3D. Something has not been built upon in our 3D world. Um, actions have not been maybe taken to solidify, um, you know, a more stable foundation, even though there's a lot of feelings. So why the chariot for uh, this person's feelings? Towards my beautiful Aries, towards Aries. Thank you. Show me the chariot. Show me the chariot. Knight of Swords. All right. Wanting to take action. This person um, is saying that either you or um, or that they are trying to clear up confusion about their emotions. Okay. Um, there's been some emotional confusion here in the past. Mm, okay. To the Three of Wands. There's been something that has hindered the progress of this connection, like I kind of said, moving forward. Um, somebody could have felt a little bit insecure. Okay, this person kind of could have felt insecure. You could have. Um, there's just a little bit of an immature emotional <clears throat> energy here somebody could have acted this person could have acted um yeah without a plan okay like without a plan aries this person is trying to figure out a plan but it's almost like a daydreamy energy it's like you need to get out of your your emotions and make a solid plan of action here Hmm. There's also um, uh, a caution here to be careful or cautious about needing to make the right choice, needing to go in the correct um, in the correct direction. Okay, 
needing to go in the correct direction and t only taking risks that are um, like, like a stable, like needing to find stability here, all right? Needing to find direction. Hmm. Let me find out more. Show me the five of wands. Why is this person, this is the conflict. Okay, this is the conflict. This is Leo energy, five of wands. Show me the five of wands for this person, how they view you. Okay, so now I think I am looking at um, somebody who at some point you had a breakage from Aries. Okay, but the, the feelings remained. Okay, even though there was a breakage here, the feelings remained, all right, in the past. Um, the two of you could have had, uh, you know, arguments, okay? Other people could have gotten the way. doesn't have to be third party, like cheating, anything like that. This is just um, other priorities that could have gotten in the way. This person could have had a hard time making up their mind. And for fire signs, that, you know, can be a deal breaker. Fire signs need to um, move forward, okay? We can't stay stagnant for too long. Uh, and if somebody has a difficult time making up their mind or they let other priorities, other people's opinions of what they should do get in the way, that's that's going to possibly be a deal breaker for my fire signs. Um, now, even though there was breakage here, this is also some insecurity, okay? Now, if this person views you as um, this person, I'm getting that this person... Hmm. This person could have had some emotional, um, yeah, some emotional insecurity here, okay? Some some insecurity here. A lot of responsibilities, okay? Hmm. But they're moving out of that, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Ten of Wands to the Six of Wands. They want to move out of whatever happened here in the past, okay? Because there's still a big heart space here. There's still love and there's still compassion, there is um, a kindness, okay? They view you as being very kind. They also view you as um, having moved past or wanting to move past this um, this breakage here. Whatever happened here in the past, this, this, uh, this um, lack, this feeling of lack, this feeling of uh, fighting, they see that you are dealing with that in a very kind, compassionate way that you offer support to this person and that you are letting go, okay, of the burdens, of the guilt, of the responsibility, and you're moving into uh, quite a beautiful place of, um, of victory and success, um, that you're being recognized and possibly getting attention from others um, for your success. And that, you know, you've done a lot of soul searching. You've done a lot of work on yourself. And that they either want a new opportunity with you or that possibly um, karma is coming back around for a new opportunity for the two of you together. But it's it's after quite a while, okay? I do believe of you two being separated. They're still This person's still hoping, Aries, for another chance with you. But I don't think that they've told you that yet. I don't think that they've revealed that to you yet. Or if they have, it's it may come as a, a bit of a surprise to you, uh, because we've got the hermit and the ace of um, the ace of pentacles. So the hermit has experience. The hermit has been off, on his own, soul searching, trying to find his purpose. The hermit is very wise. That's Virgo energy, um, and looking for you know, looking for more. Okay, the hermit is by choice isolating himself and trying to find peace from this chaos and this confusion that happened here in the past and with the six of wands to the ace of discs the hermit is now finding um success after his long journey okay and not only finding success victory and achievement but there's a there's a new opportunity um that's being presented to you now or this person wants to present a new opportunity to you wow um and their behavior toward you ace of cups so let's find out more about that let's find out more about that so you've got so far two aces in this person's energy okay 
So I'm going with um, the fact that this person is um, trying to get something new started with you. Okay. Let me see the Ace of Cups for this person's behavior and actions. I'm sorry if that's loud. You gotta try to keep that away from the mic. Show me the Ace of Cups. This person's behavior and actions towards Aries, the lovers. Woo! Yep. To the Five of Swords. Okay, there's a lot of fives here. Okay, so there's a lot of conflict here in the past. There was a lot of conflict. Um, competition words that were spoken okay actions that were done between the two of you guys that caused a lot of conflict okay that caused a lot of hurt um, this is possibly a self-sabotaging um, type of pattern that this person possibly has had for a long time now with the with the uh, the lovers and the five of swords to the nine of swords this person stresses okay a lot about this connection they think about this connection maybe every day okay a lot and it brings this person like i said this is past trauma that this person is still dealing with in the present day that um they still feel connected to you okay they still feel connected to you and they want i believe this person wants a second chance okay with you um they want to clear up whatever happened here in the past um they could feel like like i said there were other energies involved or you know things that got in the way of the two of you having a reunion or you know really solidifying something moving this connection to the next level okay and they they stress about it for sure definitely the five of swords these are words that have been spoken like i said in the past okay these are consequences for our actions and this person's reviewing that a lot now yeah i mean this person's all up in their head unfortunately and i don't think that's what i said earlier i don't think that this person's telling you you may not even know this okay but if you're watching this reading you probably have an idea um eight of swords to the high priestess this is this luckily this person is listening they're trying to listen to their intuition and get out of their head but they feel just really mentally stuck okay it's almost like this person's beating themselves up mentally and going over and over and over like what happened you know what happened between the two of us how can i move forward how can i bring this back together and also i think that this person might be blaming themselves for what happened for the choice that they made. This person thought that, um, you know, this person took an action here at some point and it had consequences, it had negative consequences. And they review that over and over again in their mind. Now they are with the high priestess here. They feel connected to you with the Ace of Cups. They still feel very connected to you emotionally and there's still love here. There, but there's some type of mystery that not everything is yet known okay but they're trying to listen to their intuition and they are trying to heal king of cups wow there's a lot of love here but i don't think that this person's expressing to you i don't think that they're telling you any of this they actually they they um they have a tendency to run away okay seven of swords they have a tendency to run away aries and possibly run away for, from difficult conversations. It's a pattern that this person has. Um, now, for some of you, this person's trying to strategize, okay? For some of you, this person is trying to strategize a way to eventually come back and tell you how they feel, okay? But it's going to take, this isn't an overnight energy. This is gonna take a lot of strength from this person, yeah. Seven of Swords to the Three of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Hmm. There's something about the future here, okay? Needing to very carefully plan their course of action and be strategic about it. This person's trying to get what they want and what they want is a higher level of commitment with you. Aries.
but they're trying to, there's a lot of mental conflict here. This person needs to go through a lot of healing, okay? A lot more healing. I need to see why, um, now, I mean, you're, you know, you have the Ten of Cups in your feelings towards them. You know, that's, you may have had really high hopes for this relationship, Aries. Um, at one point, you may have seen this person as, you know, you wanting a family with them. And they feel that too, but a lot of things um, have happened here. And this person is still, I believe, a bit traumatized or very traumatized. I'm not saying you traumatize them. I think that maybe this person has a lot of trauma. Uh, they've gone through, you know, a lot of heartbreak um, in their life. And it's, an, it's sort of all accumulated. Um, and they're needing to take some time. Okay. A lot of time to rest or I'm sorry not rest but to figure themselves out uh, show me the ten of cups for your feelings Aries towards um, this person ten of cups please two of swords you're like you know it's a really uh, it's a difficult choice I had high hopes for this person I still have high hopes for this person but there's a difficult choice that needs to be made. And I'm protecting my, uh, with the seven of wands, you're standing up for yourself. You're standing up for your own um, security. You're, you're putting in boundaries, okay? And um, yeah, you're not gonna move, okay, until you feel like things are fair and balanced. Yeah. Whatever happened in the past here between the two of you, this arguing, fighting, you know, who walked away from who, uh, you are coming from a place where it looks like you've achieved a lot, Aries, and you're not going to settle for less is what I'm getting, Aries. You're not going to settle for less. You still care about this person. You still even have love for them, but things need to be fair and balanced. This is almost like a karmic a karmic uh, balance, karmic justice, um, and you're standing up for what it is that you believe in, okay? Yeah. You're, you're also saying Nine of Wands, Eight of Cups, that you need to walk away from the things that just haven't worked out, okay? The things that no longer serve you. Whatever it is that you've been doing over and over and over with this person, you are saying that it's just no longer making you happy. It's, you're no longer able to do this, do this dance that you've been doing. And yeah, you're also going into a place of rest. You're feeling, you're feeling pretty drained and exhausted. You're showing up a bit exhausted here. And um, yeah, to the Four of Swords Magician. You are now uh, manifesting stability. You're wanting to take things very slowly with death here. <sighs> you're just, I, I really see areas that you're needing to leave um, the past in the past, okay? You are going through a big transformation. You're becoming more aware of what it is that you want to create in your future. And you're saying that stability is very important to you. You're also telling me that um, this connection could have moved at a snail's pace um, and that you can't wait. You don't want to wait anymore. You want to move forward in a direction that um, you're manifesting. You want to use your power to exactly ace of swords. You know, uh, this is also about um, going through a huge transformation and finding clarity, finding the truth. You, it's something about needing to find out the truth. And it could be because this person is um, being very silent. Uh, you could know that this person is not revealing everything to you. Um, and you want to know the truth, okay? You want to know the truth. You're tired of waiting. Yeah. And, you know, for some of you guys, um, someone here does want a reunion. 
And, but, but that's only going to come. It's like, you're saying no BS. If we do that, if we have a reunion, there's going to be no games, no BS. Like we've got to come to each other. Uh, very, uh, clear. Okay. Very clear. Uh, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, yeah, just no, no BS. Um, very, uh, to the point. We got to say what it is. Like we have one shot here, one shot to possibly have this reunion, uh, speak to each other and, and everything's got to be laid out on the table, um, to have any hope for emotional reciprocity or emotional, um, you know, to come together. I'm sorry. I can't talk today. Um, to come together emotionally, we everything has to be no more hiding, you know, no more hiding. Just say what it is that you got to say. Do what it is that you say you're going to do. Um, you, the two of you guys do feel connected to each other, though. Okay. There's just been, um, yeah, there's been uh, things that uh, have happened in the past that um, this person's still uh, trying to get over. And I think that you're to the point where you're like, I don't want to talk about that anymore. I don't want to. I'm over it. I want to, if, if we come together, I want to leave the past in the past and move in a new direction together or on, on your own Aries. Show me the page of pentacles. This is an offer, a solid offer. This person could have, or you could have Aries, but I think it's from this person, uh, messaged you or tried to reach out to you, um, to clear this up. Show me the page of pentacles for Aries and this person. Show me the page of pentacles, please. Yeah, it came from a good place. Okay, it came from a good place and a place of wanting to talk about the truth. Great. Um, you know, it came from a beautiful place. Somebody reached out to somebody to try to clear things up, to try to forgive or, or um, be forgiven. Okay, is what I, I'm seeing here, what I'm feeling. There's a nurturing energy a compassionate energy and um, an energy of um, possibly revealing this person's feelings. If this hasn't happened, this will happen. Somebody's going to want the truth here. Yeah, that because there was unfinished business. Exactly. Death to the uh, two of cups. There was unfinished business between the two of you guys. Not everything was spoken about. There were still feelings here. The two of you still feel connected. But for this to work out, there has to be a major transformation, okay? The past needs to be left in the past for the two of you to have uh, a future together, okay? For the two of you guys to come back together, the two of you still feel connected. Now, for some of you, this is a separation. But, again, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? I think and I feel that for the majority of you guys take it as it resonates, but there's been a big transformation. Okay. In this connection, death and the two of cups, this is the mutual energy after this truth has come in, after this message has come in from someone and it's transforming the way that the two of you, uh, connect to each other. I don't think either of you have ever truly disconnected from each other, even though you met, you did in the physical possibly. Um, and this, transformation this is a big transformation is leading to um happiness and fulfillment okay between the two of you guys there's going to be movement here there's definitely going to be movement here yeah and it's going to bring in with the emperor beautiful it's going to bring in a sense of um stability okay there's a protective energy here wanting to protect this union. There's a caring energy here. And that's your card, Aries. That's you, okay? That, that is you, the emperor. So um, I see happiness for you, Aries. Okay, I see a family for you. I see uh, if this isn't a family, this is your, your network of people around you. You have a lot of support. You have a lot of support around you. Show me the Knight of Wands. Show me the Knight of Wands. 
This is also you making a decision to be happy, Aries. The four of discs. You're all, something's holding you back, though. There's a big decision coming in for you, Aries. Okay, there's a big decision. Something, something that has held you back from your fire. Okay, you feel fired up and passionate. Okay, this is this is your fire energy, wanting to move. Okay, wanting to rush in, uh, wanting to go in a particular direction, but um, you have felt blocked from it. Okay, something has made you feel blocked, like you couldn't go in that direction. You couldn't follow your passion. Um, something about your stability, needing to hold back and hold on to what it is that you already have. Um, but it's like a battle between your mind and your heart okay and but with big judgment coming in here this is the universe saying um wake up wake up somebody here needs to wake up and look at what it is that you truly want okay there's a big decision here and you need to um if you stay in this four of pentacles holding on so tightly and clinging to what it is that you already have this could be financial okay um uh, like a like almost like job security or or just clinging to what it is you already have you can lose okay the opportunity to um, get what it is that you really desire um, and with judgment it's saying hold on okay don't be reckless okay don't don't not think about things and just rush in but don't be so um, rigid that you you miss opportunities when they come to you okay judgment saying uh there is a call to action here but but you need to use strength okay leo energy all right a lot of fire energy here leo energy um use your strength and watch your ego this is for both people watch the ego here you know what is it that you truly want it, are you being held back by ego or are you just like you know what i'm happy where i am and i don't want to change Whatever it is, um, this change, this decision is going to take a lot of strength, okay? A lot of willpower to either hold back from it or to move forward with it. Yeah, wow, the Knight of Wands, a lot of passion again. So, but we end on the Nine of Cups, okay? So this is personal satisfaction. Something here, something here is going to make you feel very satisfied okay very personally content and it could be i mean this is for a multitude of people so whether it's taking action towards this person okay this person could be a leo or scorpio um whether it's taking action towards this person and it gives you a sense of personal satisfaction or it's staying where you are okay and holding back from this person okay um it, if it is holding back from this person because it feels right to you with judgment it feels like you've made the final decision aries there is a final decision that's being made here and it's a judgment call it's a judgment call. This is a big, uh, big decision. Okay. But whatever this is and however it resonates for you guys is going to be different. It's going to bring in personal satisfaction. Okay. To the star. Wow. Not only personal satisfaction, but wish. Okay. Wish fulfillment. And not only wish fulfillment, but major healing and hope and we got the hope card earlier that i haven't given up okay i haven't given up someone here hasn't given up now this could be what you've always wished for and that the this person from the past is somehow coming back to, for you or to you and it's like wow i've always dreamt of this I've always dreamt of this, but now I need to make the decision to move, to take action. And it's going to require me, uh, you know, leaving what I've always held on to so tightly. And that could be a little uncomfortable. Okay. But we have the star. 
to the tower. Yeah. As soon as I said uncomfortable, we got the tower. So it's going to require Aries a period of becoming very uncomfortable. Things around you, if you want this connection, are going to drastically change. But it's the energy of if you really, really want this person and this connection that I feel like you still feel connected to very much and that you'll you you keep coming back to this person Aries okay it's going to require a big 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 change and it may not feel good like I mean things around you changing and and if it's not things around you and your 3d changing it's a drastic change of mindset like a big change of mindset and going through it will feel even a little scary sometimes but um wow but you've got the star and strength here. This is the universe saying you are capable. You can do this. Yeah. Wow. But it's going to take a lot of rest. Okay. And um, don't act impulsively. That's that's my caution here. Someone here may make you feel like you want to be impulsive because there's a lot of passion and desire here. But in your energy, um, we've got the Four of Swords. That's, that's what I want to finish on. Four of Swords and the uh, Knight of Pentacles. This is needing to move slow, okay? Needing to take your time and make sure that this is the right decision because something in you knows that this would be, this would change everything, okay? It would be a big life-changing uh, direction, okay? Everything about your life, for some reason, about this relationship would change. You know that. I think this person knows that. And you're being um, advised to take things slowly, okay? And make sure that this is what you really want um, before doing that. Wow, Aries. Um, because it's a big decision. Yeah, big decision. Wow, I'm going to leave it there, Aries. I can't wait to check in with you guys next week and see, um, you know, how this is progressing. I don't think this is going to be an overnight thing. So things might not change um, by next week. But... Um, if I tap into the same group of you guys, um, I'm sure there'll be some progression, Aries. So, wow. I'm going to leave it here. I hope that this helped you guys. Please do leave in the comments um, if this resonates for you guys. And, um, yeah. Um, if it doesn't, uh, please check your other placements. And um, I will talk to you guys soon, Aries. Lots of love. Thank you all so much for your love and support. Many blessings to you all. Take care. Bye.